hole up? What is that smell? <laughs> it was just you all along. Who would have thunk it? Well, good evening. Ladies, lads and lasses, and yes, you do smell amazing today. Welcome to The Click. Today we're going to do something absolutely amazing. We're going to look at r slash hole up. One of my favorite subreddits. Lots of twists, lots of cursed stuff, lots of beautiful humor that we all lack. Enjoy. Mwah. My career was mistake. Uh, subscri subscribe today so I can keep having this mistake of a career. <laughs> Yes, marketing. I recently smoked a joint with an old friend I hadn't seen in years. Afterwards, he swallowed the roach. I was horrified until he explained that it gets you 10 times higher. Then I remembered 12 years ago when I told him that fact as a joke. He's eaten over a thousand roaches. <laughs> No, no, no. The worst thing is when you come back after such a long time and they've been living this religiously. What you thought was an innocent joke was just an incredible evil deed. I salute you. Uh, never ordering work gloves off a wish.com again. So here's a little glove and why? Why did the fingers look like why this? This is not a glove for putting your fingers in the sink, is it? It's for putting your fingers in a moving on, moving on. This is a Christian chat pretty. Ignore the Satan videos. Hey, hon, can a blonde and a redhead have a kid with black hair? Nope, someone cheated. And there's this picture from Pixar. This is my childhood just completely flabbergasted. You know, that's one thing with these videos that I make. My childhood has been absolutely ravaged by all these memes and cursed content. Yes. Latest news. Catholic bishop resigns after falling in love with satanic erotic author. This is pure love. You put aside your belief for that true, freaking, throbbing, satanic, erotic love. Oh! <laughs> Honestly, though, wouldn't that be interesting to have something like this in your in your relationship? Otherwise, the dynamic would be very good. Like, you've been a bad little demon worshipper. Now I have to <laughs> punish and cleanse your soul. It's a, that was supposed to be wholesome. Was it whole? That it was wholesome. Nine eleven. Oh, oh, okay. No, I mean, I've always wanted to have a conversation with about it. Oh, no, um, people. Why did you not think this? You've never before? talked to people about nine eleven. No, what's your what's your stance? What's my stance on nine eleven? Oh, um, anti. <laughs> it was a tragedy. <laughs> I mean, we lost 19 of our best guys. <laughs> oh, oh, the twist. Also, I mean, I'm, I, I haven't watched this show, but I'm assuming with the accent he's supposed to be Indian. He's just pulling a leg, right? He's just pulling a leg. That'd be so funny because I was just like, isn't that, isn't that an Indian accent? Like, what is he? <laughs> it's so, <laughs> the whole thing just comes off as, what does brown people think about 9-11? So, oh, oh. oh, dear, sir. The year is 1850. You have 50 dollars. What are you buying? You- <laughs> Why doesn't it have 69 likes? Stop! Twitter! No! How do you understand the picture? Here's a bunch of girls that we need to censor. Editor, please go on this. We are a Christian channel. And here is one girl with clothes and a heart. You need to have a wife and host for you to have a good balance in life. Well, I suppose we all take different meanings out of different things, out of different perspectives. You know that image where you have like a cylinder and the shadow on one side is a circle and the shadow on the other side is a rectangle? Kind of cool. Sort of like this, but not at all with shapes. Me slapping my older brother in the face with his own hand. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Why are you hitting yourself? Sister-in-law crying. Is this why you wanted an open casket? <laughs> oh my god! I was bullied my whole childhood, Felicia! This is just me getting my vengeance, Felicia, at the expense of the rest of the family. But we'll see, that, that's, that's healthy. It's closure. I was trying to sneak a photo when this pretty girl suddenly turned around and flashed me this big smile. Oh my god! It's such a oh, it's the best job. It's so boopable. Holy crap. Oh my god. Love at first sight. I want a puppy. And a duck. I would also like an otter if it was legal. I should I should just buy a farm. Should I just buy a farm? I should buy a farm. Fact. Belle did not know the beast could turn into a human. She was fully prepared to bang him as is. You see, furries watching this video, there is hope for you still. <laughs> God, that people tune in for this channel for like, for like moral support and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag wholesome vibes. Yes, indeed, you can do it. Mm. At least I know my demographic quite well. All right, next meme. 
old habits. All right, getting dressed, that is a really bad habit. Yuck, putting on pants, disgusting. All right. Oh. Oh, that's... Okay. Um... <laughs> Why would you do this if you're married? I mean, it could be some kind of role play. Or, you know, it could just be like... Hey, we have agreed that if someone forgets the dishes, you have to pay the other one 20 bucks or something like that. Uh, be beautiful, right? It could it could just be that. And she's just overreacting because, like... No. No, it's just, No. What does eggplant peach emoji mean? My son just got this text from a girl and he's 13. Should I be worried? Kissy smiley. I think her dinner and dessert were perhaps a little bit too hot and she got burnt. I hope she's okay. Yeah, the eggplant for... For dinner. Tell your son to check in on her for me. My husband once received a message like that from a work friend, and he got very nervous and headed straight over to her place to help, because she had way too spicy eggplant that evening. He is such a kind man that I bet your son is too- Boomer mom Facebook groups trying to decipher Zoomer emoji language is like the funniest thing ever. If you think that Mexico is only sending drug dealers in red, but also worry that Mexicans are going to take your job, WHAT THE FRICK DO YOU DO FOR A LIVING?! Hmm? Don't, don't... Ah, yes, son, thou shalt splash us thy feet. I hate to be a stickler, but why is Jesus wearing a cross? Oh, yeah, that's true. He's a little bit before his time, isn't he? It didn't become a symbol until, like, after the thing, right? Right? After years of research and hard work, uh -huh. she made a unique product that looks like plastic, functions like plastic, but it's not real. Plastic. Oh. When you put her plastic in water, it dissolves within minutes, and the water can still be drinkable. Most things are edible From at least once. <laughs> she can make plastic for packaging, food covering, bottles. But, but, but you, but you said it dissolves in contact with water. Am I just supposed to have like a waterproof pocket and just slurp up the whole bottle? This doesn't what? This reminds me so much of that like environmental campaign when it was like, hello, I am paper bottle, haha. -ha. And it turned out it was just a plastic bottle inside a paper wrapping in the first place. Yes, environmental causes turned into blind marketing. Heck yes. Uh, what the hell? 40 alternatives to self-harm. Number one, harm someone else. <laughs> Hey there, Timmy, does your demons tell you to harm yourself? How about stabbing George over there instead? <laughs> Let it out on other people. Well, I suppose it, like, encourages self-preservation a bit, but may may maybe this isn't what we should be promoting, you know? You know, a solution that creates another problem might not be, like, a an actual solution. Is this real? <laughs> oh my god, it's horrible. When your parents get divorced, he's no longer your step, bro. Well, then it's no longer a thing, right? It's like... Well, there, uh, step bro, now when our parents are no longer together, we can get it on. Like, oh, uh, no, uh, no, it's only a thing if you get stuck in the, in the washing machine, if we live in the same house, otherwise it's not... <clears throat> oh, great. Life is good. Life is good. Humanity is going in a good direction, yes. Stepsister. Oh, gee, we have another one of these memes. Great. Uh, my BF won't have naughties with me. Maybe it's smart to take it slow. Build a relationship on trust and shared interests. Adult film director. Cut! <laughs> Wholesomeness in all its glory. But there is a time and a place to come up with good wholesome advice. If you're cold, they're cold. Bring them inside. Well, to be fair, I, I don't have that much fur. Silence, but but these ones do anyway. So let's let's look. Uh, all right, what's step two? It's a little bear. <gasps> I would love to have a bear too. I mean, it's not really wise because it can maul the crap out of you, but like it's so cute, and it would be the ultimate scary dog privilege. Like nobody would mess with you if you walk your bear, right? It's so good. You can even ride it to school. Amazing. Yeah. So anyway, uh, fussiness and all that. Um num 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 ribs. Vegan ribs are actually delicious. The hardest part is hunting down the vegan. You know what they say, eating cows is secondhand veganism because they only eat grass. But the real manliness comes from if you eat animals that only eat flesh. Alpha L Apex Predator, I only eat wolves. Which I think has like, you know, in increased parasites and stuff because it's bad to eat carnivores because they get more stuff into them from other... So, so anyway, so eating humans would be the worst thing ever, right? According to that logic. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cannibals, explain yourself. Why every Spanish person I know got an uncle named Tio? Y'all gonna tell him or y'all want me to? What are the odds that my uncle is named uncle? <laughs> Hallå där, herr farbror. Vilket, vilket kon, vad konstigt att du har det namnet. Ja, oh, det är jätteroligt. Ah, languages. If you serve your kids frozen peach or chicken nuggets for dinner, you are a terrible parent. <laughs> I don't care how busy you are. Find the time to microwave them. I just imagine some kids sitting with like a slice of pizza on the, <laughs> on the popsicle stick. Just My mother won't eat up my pizza. Ah, there you go, Timmy. Numb that pizza down with crunchy iciness. Just as cold as your parents' hearts. Babe? Yes? Would you still love me if I was a tank? Oh. Well, it depends on what tank you were. I mean, you could be a leopard to a seven. Mm, good choice. A tiger. Oh, tiger. I like bulldog, that. A chieftain. A T thirty four. A KV. T thirty four is a medium one. one. I like that. Okay. Um, so let's say you were a leopard to a seven. Mm -hmm. I would ask you to marry me. Does, does that mean you want to marry me? Are you a leopard to a seven? When you get together with someone who's a little bit too much of a of a straight shooter, <laughs> oh, just like a tank. <laughs> When you've been in the Uber for five minutes, then get a text from the driver saying he's outside. Uh, oh. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna die. Who are these two? Wrong answers only. <laughs> Doctors. <laughs> there are some nuggets left on Twitter after all. Oh yes. During World War II, the Germans built a fake wooden airfield with wooden aircraft, vehicles and hangars in order to trick the Allies. The RAF, having known of the secret project for months, patiently waited for them to finish it and then dropped a single fake wooden bomb on it. <laughs> there it is! I love how they managed to pay, keep it in a museum. That is amazing. Imagine the guy just walks out into the field into the morning like, We heard airplanes last night. Where are the signs of bombing? And you just have this wooden pole just... Pfft, just, ha ha, Le Mau wooden bomb, take that fake airfield. That's beautiful. They must have had a laugh, you know? It's it's a little bit of a comedic interruption in horrendous warfare, so uh, there's that. You might say that they really stick it to them. <laughs> but can I get, get it? Because it's like a stick and not a bomb. <laughs> oh, um, I'm a comedic genius. Oh no, you wouldn't. Oh. All I have ever wanted from a yogurt is to know who the cows are. The cows! Myrtle, Letty, Root, Irma, Fanny, Julia, Veronica, Padma, Lucy. Notice how they named all the cows traditionally girl names. <laughs> there is a deep connection between misogyny and consuming animals. Indeed, Courtney! God, I want my fresh bottle of bull milk! It has a lot of protein! And some interesting lumps. You can fill a pool with anything you want. Money, gold, coins, anything valuable really. But you must jump into it from 10 meters, about 33 feet for all you freedom unit people, and survive in order to keep what you filled it in with. What would you fill the pool up with? Champion racehorse semen. <coughs> well, <coughs> it is expensive and you would survive, but at what cost? What would you fill the pool with? I'm actually considering this, like for real. Honestly? Maybe this is cheating. Tell me if this is cheating, but I would just fill it up with, like, bills. You know, instead of gold or, or coins, just just fill it up with dollar bills. They're pretty soft, right? At least if you haven't stacked them, like, super tight. But, you know, considering it's dollar bills, they're just, like, loose and fluffy and stuff. It's basically like falling into a giant soft pile of paper. That could work. That could definitely work. Yeah. I don't like people who take drugs. For example... Airport security. Yeah, you know in some places where you have like a lost and found section and the employees like, you know, oh yeah, we can just keep stuff after a certain amount of time. Do they do the same with evidence lockers and like the police airport things? Maybe? I am coming soon. I am coming! Jesus. At least he's letting us know so we can decide if we want to be filled with his spirit or let his spirit wash over us. Church sermons, I haven't been to many in my days, but, but they do vibe differently than what I remember them as, uh, to be honest. Oh, yeah, protein powder! <gasps> oh no, it fell in the cat food! Oh, oh no. Oh, this is not gonna end well, is it? Oh, the kitty is going for it now, baby. That cat has broader shoulders than me! What the? What happened? How did it? What? 
Okay, I take back what I said about the bear being the ultimate scary dog privilege. I want this cat. I want this cat, and nobody would mess with me. Do you speak any other languages except English? I speak Swedish. Oh, Say yeah. something to me in Swedish, and everyone let me know she's saying in the comments. Okay, tjejer, här är en riktig röd flagga. När killen går runt på Hollywood Boulevard och ber tjejer ge han komplimanger. <laughs> och kolla nu när han kommit upp sin tröja säkert också och försöker flexa sina muskler. Det här är den största röda flaggan ever. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying, but she might be saying she wants a piece of that Tay Ritchie, baby. Yeah. Let me know what she's saying. Oh, God, why did you upload this without double-checking what she was actually saying? Please, I mean, it's it's here, so I'm assuming you uploaded it without double-checking what she was saying. Okay, for anyone who doesn't speak a less Swedish, so what she said is that, uh, listen up now, girls. It's a huge red flag when a guy goes around Boulevard interviewing girls asking for uh, compliments. And he's probably also buffing up the shirt or showing off muscles and that kind of stuff. So, you know, yeah, that's the gist of it. Um... Probably not the stuff you would just want to upload for <laughs> before double checking. This is why you check with translations. Oh my god, this is so easy to avoid. But it's so funny. I love that this happened. This is amazing. I was just at Burger King, and this dude was arguing with the gay cashier about his order. And for some reason, the cashier said, See, this is the reason all you straight men are freaking trash! And the dude said, Wrong again, bitch! I like PP too! Uh, whole time, I'm in the corner like, uh. And then they went out together, and everyone was happily ever after. And they also got Happy Meals. I want a Happy Meal. Do you remember when you used to get Happy Meals? Back when I was 25? Damn, that was nice. I love the toys. God really made me 5'6", what the frick? He put 6 inches somewhere else. <laughs> no, no, he did not. Oh, oh, oh my god. When you try to lift someone up and you just keep sinking like a st- please, no, oh. Rob. I would rather my daughter date than a member of the MS-13 than a member of the Republican Party. Are you the stupid frick that wrote that? No, that was someone else. Thumbs up. Okay, I'm sorry. Have a nice one. But it's... It's literally the same profile picture in they... <laughs> Listen up, everyone watching. If you're saying something just with enough confidence, and people are 73% more likely to believe it. And if you also add a decimal to the statistic, they are 82.4% more likely to believe it. So use these two in combination, and you can just make up whatever freaking stats you want, just like this one. <laughs> At Kendall Jenner ate grilled cheese fries. Cable, stop! Oh, and more before hitting the mate gala red carpet. Now that is bravery. I live in Syria, and the story gave me strength to carry on. Thank you for sharing her story. Oh my god, I, I, I am battling life-threatening situations and everything is poor, but, but some celebrity in the US doesn't... It, no, they did it for us. This is real bravery. I'm so glad to see that heroes are real after all. I would love to create a series of, like, parody heroes that are based on, like, what articles call bravery nowadays. That'd be so much fun. Like, here is someone who's brave for wearing some outfit to do something. Here is someone who's brave for eating or not eating a certain meal. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> just turn into superheroes and just everyone is super like supportive about it. Like the world is crazy about it. Like they're super good heroes. And then there's the main protagonist who's just the only person with common sense in the world. He's like, she, but but she only ate fries. Like no, she's a hero. Don't you dare! I would watch the crap out of that. That would be so fun. That would be like what's the movie called with the asteroid coming towards Earth? Uh, Look up. I think it's called. Is that the movie? It would be like that vibe, but with like BS superheroes. So good. Co copyright pending. <laughs> Lords. And members of the House of Commons. Oh, I am a... Uh, yes. I am deeply grateful for the addresses of condolence. Oh. By the House of Lords and the House of Commons. Oh, that is quite preposterous which so indeed. Which so touchingly encompass what our late sovereign, my beloved mother, the Queen, meant to us all. Mm -mm. But I'd like to make one thing straight. Charlie's in f charge now. And it's about to get f***ing real. Mm, I took a turn. As I stand before you today, I'd like to address some of the tyrannical sh** I'm going to do as king. <laughs> First off, America, we're taking you back. You f have been free for far too long. I would not have it. Australia, you're going to become a massive f off prison again. F*** you. <laughs> India, you're safe. We don't really want you back anyway. Oh, yeah, also, that's, I'm bringing that worse. thing back where, like, the king gets to f*** your wife the day you get married, if he wants to. <laughs> that was a cool rule. Anyway, Teddy, <laughs> I'm out of here. That was like genuinely good voice acting. You couldn't really hear the cut. That was so good. Oh, mad respect. That is amazing. The speech would have been way more interesting if that was actually the real one. Um, take notes for the future. Yes. 
torpedo hunter. Wait, wait no, it's not. It's there's. It's a tiny and sign there. No, no, that's so bad. And why do you use the same font as like on Heinz beans? But also like no. And why do you use like like an automatic carbine to hunt? Oh, there's so many things. Oh my god. R slash shower thoughts. Being prego, you technically have two hearts inside of you. This makes you a time lord. I can be Doctor Who. Oh, if you're prego with twin boys, you technically have two peepees in you. That makes you a popular category on certain websites. Oh gee, great. Uh, we were just having a nice, nice little Doctor Who tangent here, and then just hippity hoppy pippy in your property. Uh, how fun. The city says stairs for seniors will cost $65,000. Man builds it for five hundred and fifty. Then city tears it down. Ha! <laughs> we got the priorities straight. Good stuff. But uh, I'm assuming it's something like, Oh no, we can't keep this up because it technically hasn't gone through standard control and that kind of BS. Or they just ha hate elderly people. I mean, if it costs $65,000, can you imagine? So like $64,450 of those are basically just bureaucracy and admin costs. That's a pretty terrible percentage right there. yippity hoobity. I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Is this your Pokemon? No, she is my mom. What? Your mom has a lot of involvements with your balls. Okay, no, so moving on. Girls, they're probably out cheating. The boys. What are you doing out here? Beating what? Very nice. I have also heard that the diglets are mainly nocturnal, so this makes perfect sense. Thank you very much, science. Kanye West shares a list of everyone he's beefing with. Taylor Swift, Nike, Kim K, his cousin, Wiz Khalifa, Jay-Z, Kid Cody, Billie Eilish, Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig? What do you mean? <laughs> Why are you beefing with Peppa Pig? <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, yes, harder and naughty noises. Oh, yes, indeed, yes, senpai. Your daughter? She's here. Wanna talk to her? <laughs> Critical damage. Oh, she's trying to embarrass you. Embarrass her harder back! That's the sign of any true healthy relationship. If you have the power to heal others, you are a villain. I am the American healthcare system. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> it got a little bit too real there, a little bit too fast. Whew! Ah, oh, what's that? We are from the future! Wow! No way, this is so cool! Uh, what? Haha, <laughs> yellow <Yeah>, bro. <laughs> that's so good! Oh my! Well, <laughs> Looks like you have some growing up to do. Oh yes, indeed, what the future holds. Buy a wife from Vietnam for only $6,000. <laughs> uh, that this, is this, is this an old newspaper? That's... That, oh, dear God. One guaranteed virgin. Two guaranteed to be delivered within 90 days. You make this sound like a dog kennel. This is... Oh, my God. Three, no extra charges. Four, if ran away within a year, you get another one for free. But is that like... Is that a loop? You know, if the first one runs away within a year and the second one too, to get a third one for free as well and so on and so forth and just loops. In that case, you can just set up like a big scheme with your friends and just be like, these poor people stuck in this horrific business, we're just gonna take them over as wives and just says, oh yeah, run free, make your make your life, here you go, here, here's a good place, and and then just do it again, and again, and again, and again. What, what, what's stopping you, you know? You could just like, scheme the crap out of the scheme. It's amazing. Oh, some old classic cartoons. They're always wholesome and sweet. Oh no. No, please. That's so bad. Oh god. You know, things wouldn't pick up on as kids. They really they really have a different vibe in, in you know in an in, in adult context. I can't believe this was like the go-to way of like, oh, unwanted kittens? Better go drown them in the river. How was that ever like, you know, the normalized, like accepted thing? It's like, oh yeah, you know, just pets like <laughs> quirky drowning time. Ah, everyday stuff. 11-year-old Alabamian shoots home intruder, mocks him for crying like a little baby. Imagine breaking into a house, getting shot by a kid, and then he Fortnite dances over your dying body. You know that you've hit rock bottom, you know? And then there's like, then there's like, you know, beneath rock bottom, and that's this. <laughs> that is so bad. Oh no. I looked up the definition of a serial killer. It's somebody who's killed three or more people. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know it's the guy who killed Jesus is a serial killer because that's the son, the father, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I know Christians get mad about that joke. 
because I take it this far. Oh, oh, oh. Nailed it. I love the triple bake jokes. When you think it's done, then you just hit them with another vamoosh. Kill someone and run away. Mm, kill someone and kill yourself. Mm, and kills himself and runs away. <laughs> Ultimate brain. The IQ tests look different nowadays, I'll admit. The cast of Scooby-Doo has aged like fine wine. Look at these fine individuals. Gosh darn. Ah, uh, poor Scooby. No, no, no. Oh. Decomposing like wine, perhaps. Oh, that's so horrible. Jesus. You're telling me Americans don't know what country this is? Look at that little highlighted country. Americans watching this, tell me which country this is. Okay, let me know in the comments. I would like to see how many actually know what this country is. Uh, um, it's very important. This is for science. Multi-blockchain NFT community. Hey, ladies. If a guy sends you an unsolicited PP pick, turn it into an NFT with his name as the artist. Then share it with him the link to the purchase. He will have to buy it from you if he wants to burn it and get it off the blockchain. That is so... Oh! Oh! That is so good! When you get, like, to, to con the con artist kind of... It's that kind of thing. It's like when you scam scam artist. It's the same kind of, like, one level up. I love this. This is so good. NFTs actually have a good use in this world. Oh my god. Oh, getting out of the car to the cops? That's very, like... Sir, go back into your car. I'll be with you in a second. You better check the registration on this plate soon, mister. Have a good day, Judge. You bet. I'm just surprised with, you know, the amount of viral videos you see from the Mercus. I'm just surprised he didn't get shot instantly when he stepped out of the car. Phew! You know, I've always been rather fascinated by Newton's first law. Oh, hell yeah, some physics stuff. an object in motion stays in motion. Uh -huh. So, I'll give you an example. That's not... As you can see, I'm an object because I'm a... I thought we were supposed to be educational here today, but apparently I was vastly mistaken. So the motion basically means that if you just push an object and there is no uh, friction or anything, like in vacuum or space, it will just keep floating forward because there's nothing to stop it. Because it has constant energy, which is the energy of movement and mass and sh So, so like, yay. But this, all right, at least, yeah, you know, you know, it's yay, internet. For our five year anniversary, we took a reenactment photo. So here is me with her and here is me with a hoe. Oh, 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 no, no, that took, oh, that took me a second. Gets pulled over. Cop, do you know how fast you were growing? Me, uh, officer, I was, uh, oh, wait, did you say growing? Cop, removes mask to reveal grandma. Oh, you have gotten so big. I thought this was heading in a completely different direction at first. That sounded more like, you know, the kind of, kind of adulty movie kind of thing. Uh, but this, this was a wholesome twist, you know, this. <laughs> oh, Grandma. Hi, hi. There are dark ads, and then there is this ad. Okay. Okay, so the house is booby-trapped. That's... That's a little sus. No, no, that's a... No, no, please watch out. The dog is vicious and wants to blow you up. Nerd alert. Hello, father. You know, Socrates. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> oh. I didn't do it. Ladder. Life insurance so good. What? <laughs> they're gonna want you. What is dead. that? I don't think. I love you too, guys. But seriously, intentionally killing a policyholder will void all life insurance benefits. Exactly! That's exactly what I was about to say! Like, wait, won't that void it because you're purposefully trying to cash out on the insurance? <laughs> and also, like, a dynamite in the back of the house probably gonna nullify a lot of that insurance, but... <laughs> it is a good ad, though. Not gonna lie. It's a good ad. I like the disclaimer as well, because I thought the exact same thing. Cop, we got a call that you had pot in your car. Me, pulls out flower pots. <laughs> you mean this? Cop, aha, my mistake. What are you growing? Mmm, weed. <laughs> you had gotten out of it. Why would you go back into the trouble? Six-year-old nephew. Uncle Mike, why don't you have a wife? Me, I'm gay. What does that mean? I like men, not women. Hmm, so why don't you have a husband? Me. 
Kids are horrible little sociopaths, I swear to god. They cut so deep and it's not even intentional. It's absolutely horrific. So here's a nice little family tree. We have Hubert and Agnes, and they have a bunch of kids. Fabian, Yvette, Marie, and Guy. And they have kids together. Of... Why? This is... That's the... Mm, the mm, no, 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 no. I keep pre-cooked bacon in my fridge that I call hurricane bacon. When the hurricane hits, I put that bacon in my pocket. So if I get buried in a pile of rubble, the search dogs will find me first. That is so nice. I thought it was something like, you know, backup food. Like, oh, I get locked inside and I have extra food, but... Nah, -uh, it's one step more. And you also get to boop the puppies. Ibohepophobia. The irrational fear of philandromes. Words that read the same forwards and backwards. Wait a second. Ibohephobia. It reads the same way in both directions. What? You, you, made, you made the name for the phobia? What the phobia is? <laughs> They'll be like, instead of calling it arachnophobia, you would just have like a spider logo for it. <laughs> like, it's not good, okay? Well, ladies, lasses, and lassos, I do hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it and having you here, you beautiful being. I do hope you're an amazing rest of your day because you did everything I see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.